burn shit. Dude, don't pirate. He burn shit. I keep telling y'all, love fire. What's going on, everybody? Monkey Chow here. We're back with some more. Show me the cool. Yar! It's September, and it's almost Talk Like a Pirate Day. So what better time to talk about one of my favorite games of all time, Sea of Thieves. There's just a small publisher that gives my background in games that I might know a thing or two about. Look, let's be honest. This company has made timeless classics over the years that video game geeks know, have played, and fondly remember. Starting with the best bet-winning impossible game on the Nintendo. And I got some bird and bear that a bunch of people have probably played. They had one of the best, if not the best, multiplayer first-person shooters on the Nintendo 64. Drunk Foamy in a video game before he was cool. Oh, and Stardew Pokemon. Hey, Rare. Battletoads remake? Loved it. But you've got this amazing universe, and you still haven't brought it back yet? Give us our Viva Piñata! So a few years ago, when I heard that Rare was making an online multiplayer open world pirate game, my interest was immediately piqued. And then I got into the closed beta, and I couldn't stop playing. So what's Sea of Thieves? Simply put, it's a pirate adventure simulator. This game is not about who has the best gear or being the top level fastest so your stats are better than everyone else. No, this game is about the experience. When you log in, your goal is to have an adventure, and you will never know what happens on the seas from session to session. Oh, Jesus Christ! What'd you do? Stupid! You do? There was a barrel guy that was coming out of the ground and I slashed him. Everyone is on a level playing field. You begin each session stocking your ship from an outpost, and depending on your crew size, or for the masochists among us that want a harder play session, you pick one of three different ships, each tuned to make a manageable ship for the player count, but each having their own give and takes to help balance out the interactions on the seas. Captain Dinghy, I'm on the dinghy. Captain of my dinghy. You could just embark on the seas and see what happens. Or you can take on quests. Some of them lead you to amazing stories called tall tales that dive you into the rich lore of the game world. Or some send you on a journey to score some amazing loot. Because this game, it's about the loot. I mean, pirates. That's right. Every pirate's dream is to become a legend and be filthy rich when doing so. So... The quests you go on in the game are all about making you rich by performing tasks from various guilds within the game. And those tasks you can get are very diverse. You could go on treasure hunts for buried treasure with maps and riddles and even raid vaults. Should I stand out here and hold it up? No, yes. <laughs> can I even do that? Okay, we need the other that, thing. That. simpler and move goods and services for the merchants from island to island. Try your look at fishing, hoping to never see those stupid red fish again. Cooking up a great meal to sell. Animal trafficking. It's a thing. Or rum. 
All pirates love rum. You shot it, you son of a... They shot the rum. There's even bounties you can take to track down undead skeleton captains or ships imposing your iron will to take them down, claiming their skulls for your own, and then turning them into the Order of Souls. Did I mention the ship battles in this game? That is one of the selling draws of this game, are the ship-to-ship -ship battles, and they can get intense. All right, I'm gonna pull it down. Down, let's go. Alright, down. Fix some of the holes. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh man. Oh man. We're gonna do some Zen talking. We are totally doing Zen talking. Why is the whip it not? freaking out and as any well-mannered pirate will tell you what good is all this loot if you can't look good getting it there's a wide variety of ship cosmetics to achieve clothing for your pirates to look the best equipment to show your flair and feng shui and pets to accompany you along the way see that that's my monkey that this game is seriously every role player's pirate fantasy there's just so much to do I do? I do. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> did you did you Wiley Coyote it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Fair. No. No, you, you take care I'm of them. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I just am about to do something stupid. Ah! Hey, well at least it made my uh it cooked my snake meat. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to commit some time jumping in. Sailing is realistic and fantastic, but if the wind gods hate you, it's gonna take a while to get from island to island. But that's why there's music. Music is prepared. This is a perfect song for this. <laughs> And the scenery is gorgeous. I swear I have never seen such beautiful water effects in a game. And there's been times that I've sat just sailing on my ship, watching the sunset. This team has put thought into every aspect of the game, ensuring you're gonna have an immersive experience. I mean, even the storms you run into, while you'll want to cry, some of those tears are just for how amazing it looks. I... Oh, God damn, are you kidding me? You'd think that I'm done telling you everything about this game, but I'm not. This game piles it on you like a fire hose with a broken off valve. Because it can take some time to go from place to place, there's events, and you're on the water. The pirates. So it's only fitting that there's a freaking Kraken named Karen. Well, well, we've been cracking. We've been cracking. Come on. Me. Just go for the, just go for the island. Go for the island. She's coming in. Preparing two holes. But as with all things, they give you sweet loot if you beat them. Meaning as you continue your journey, you'll just get all the things. And that does have its downside. I like shiny. Thor is my spirit animal. Yeah, you basically... More shinies! Yes! Birds, 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 birds. birds, birds. birds. On the way. What? The action? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Maybe? It may be a different one than what we did last you time. You're so like a fish. I am. It's like shiny ooh, object. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> But you know what? All this wouldn't be complete if you couldn't be, well, pirates.
Yeah, remember how I said everyone is out there having this adventure together? Well, you sort of run into each other. Well, they're holding your loot on their ship for you. And there's so much I didn't even show you that's also in this game because it would take forever. There's volcanoes. Yeah, that explode. Set your ship on fire and burn you in the water. Earthquakes, geysers, snakes. There's even a competitive mode called Arena for folks that don't want to play the PvEVP mode. You can find this game on the Microsoft Store, Xbox, and Steam, complete with crossplay. And depending on your timing, it ranges anywhere from $30 to $60. Given that this is probably the top game I've sunk the most hours in, I can tell you that if this is your jam, you're getting every penny worth of value out of this game. So what are you waiting for? Go get this game. Maybe you'll discover me on the seas while we're sailing out there and I can steal your loot because it's mine. No! That's not water. That'll do it for another episode of Show Me the Cool. There's plenty more to come, so hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to know when I put another one out. If you enjoyed this, hit that like and leave a comment at the bottom to let me know. Or click on one of the archives over on the right so you can continue the fun. So it's time to pack up and ship out, sailor, because that does it for this episode, because it's game over. You know what a pirate's favorite food is? Arby's.